Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to see how to handle frames in a web application using Selenium WebDriver. So basically, frame is used to split a web web application into multiple portion, and each portion has a separate HTML document. So that's the purpose of frame. Or in other words, we can say that a web application which is present inside and another web application. So Sometimes in a blog, you could see that uh, uh, Google Ads was sh shown on the particular portion and if you inspect that, it will be present inside a, a frame tag. And if you see any of the YouTube video which is embedded on a website or a blog, and if you go and inspect that, then you could see that it is present inside the frame tag. So which means you are inserting a YouTube application into your blog or your website with the help of frame. So that's the basic purpose of a frame and if there are multiple frames which is present inside the web application then the developer put that frame tag inside the frame set. So frame set is nothing but a collection of frames. So let's go and inspect that. Here you can see this um, text box or uh, it's actually a tiny MC editor and this one is actually present inside the frame. So but when you see the web application you cannot come to a conclusion whether it is present inside the frame or not so the only thing is you have to go and inspect and put and go and search whether uh, it contains frame or not just type frame and look for word frame in a tag actually this one is not a valid because it is present inside the text so which is not considered as a frame if the frame word is present in the tag then we can come to a conclusion that this particular web application has a frame so when i click on enter i can see that it contains a tag name iframe which means i can come to a conclusion that this web application has a frame and if you keep your cursor then it will show what are the portion which is present inside this frame tag and in my case the only portion which is present inside the iframe tag is a tiny mce editor and this iframe contain another html element as i said and here you can see head and body and this in the in this body was pointing to this tiny mce editor so let's see how to handle frame in a selenium web driver so now you have a clear picture of uh, the html structure of the frame so now let's go to eclipse and here you can see how we can interact with the uh, frame so basically there are three ways you can interact with a frame one is by id sorry one is an index and by id or name so by index so index starts with 0 1 2 like that and id and name are actually attribute and by web element so you have to locate the web element of this uh, frame and you can use any locator export id or name but you have to locate this iframe tag and assign that to a particular web element and you can use you can pass this web element uh, when you want to switch to a frame so these are all three ways where you can switch to frame so why you want to switch to frame that's the question which comes to your mind so basically if you want to interact with uh, any web control which is present inside the frame tag which means if you want to enter a text inside the tiny mc editor i need to switch to this iframe then only selenium will allow the script to enter the text inside the tiny mc editor so basically we want to switch our driver control to this frame okay so let's see how to do that so here I have written a property to assign a Chrome driver and here I have just created a driver referring to Chrome driver and it will when I am launching the web application it will launch this particular URL that I have given here. So as I said we need to switch to the iframe and to switch we have to use a driver we have created here and user method switch to and this method contain another method called frame and here you can see as I said, there are three ways, and this one is comes under a method overloading. First one is an index, and either you can give name or ID of the frame. 
So if you see that uh, this frame contain an ID and uh, let's check whether it has a name or not. Name is actually an attribute SOC framework of uh, transparency title. So this iframe uh, doesn't contain name so we can use this ID to switch to this frame and last one is as I said a web element you can pass the iframe web element here so index actually starts with zero if there are a two or three frames then you, ha you have to give a proper index to the frame and if you're not sure uh, which index it belongs to you can go with the second one just pass the ID or name of that particular frame so that uh, you can change your driver control to the particular frame so here I'm going to use uh, this one ID so you can either pass name or ID you can just copy this ID and put it here so now the driver control is switched to this uh, iframe so whatever the actions you are doing the driver will do the actions only inside this frame so if you want us if you want to send uh, some text using send keys it will try to find the web element inside this iframe or if you want to select a radio button if you have written a script to select radio button or if you have written a script to select a drop down the driver will go and search all the web element present inside the iframe if the web element is present outside the iframe then it will throw an error because we have switched the driver control to focus on this particular frame so now we have successfully switched to frame now i can enter a text i want to enter a text inside this editor so i will go with the id I'll write an export body at id so i got only unique elements i can copy this export let me create a web element let's name this web, web element as a text box and i will assign this web element to a tiny mc editor so import the proper package so this web element txt is assigned to this tiny mc editor and I can able to enter some text because I have switched my control to this frame. Okay, so if I use txt to send some text, let's say my text or something. So I've just used the web element and send keys to my text, and let's see how this works. So it put that my text here and still we are having your content goes here if you want to clear this one you have to use a method clear before putting the send keys so just use a method dot clear so first it will switch to the frame it's taking time to load Let me close this one and execute it again. First, it will switch to the frame, and once the frame is switched, it will clear the text which is present inside the tiny MC editor and it will enter the text which you have sent using the send keys method. So, now if we didn't actually switch to the frame, let's see what happened. So if you go to the console window you can see that you got an error no such element and unable to locate element with a method export and selector as mc so what basically this driver is doing is it is trying to find the element from here to here which is present outside the frame tag because this driver is not able to enter into the frame tag and it is trying to find the element outside of the frame but it couldn't find because actually the element is present inside the iframe so that's why we need to switch our driver control to the particular frame and then you can write a script to interact the control which is present inside that particular frame so let's say i want to click on this one elemental selenium so after i enter text here i want to click on this uh, link text actually 
So to do that, let's find a script that dot find element by dot. I can use a partial link text. I can put selenium. So after enter some text, I want this uh, selenium web driver to click this element as selenium. So let's see how this works. Let me execute this once again. Okay. So it put the text inside the frame that is actually inside the tiny MC editor. And when it tried to click this particular link which is present outside the iframe, it is showing an error, no such element because actually the driver is trying to find this link text inside this tiny MC editor, but unfortunately, the link text is present outside the iframe. So what you have to do is you need to send a message to the driver that this particular link is present outside the frame. Okay, so to do that you have to use a driver dot switch to or you have to use a method default content. So it will come back to the original position. So now the driver will get to know that I need to go back to my parental page or I need to go or I need to come out of the frame and switch to a parental web application. So this command will tell to the web driver that I need to go to the parent page and whatever the command which you put after that it will go and execute the actions on outside the frame. So if we execute and driver dot find element by the partial link text we have located but we didn't use an option we didn't use a method click and that's why it stacks there itself so let me execute this so now you can see that it will enter the text and the driver comes out of this frame and click on this elemental selenium that's why you can see the screen here so this is how you should uh, handle the frame first you have to switch your driver to the particular frame and you can do what are the actions you want to do inside the frame and once you are done with your command you have to tell the driver that i need to go to the parent web, parent web application using a method driver dot switch to dot default content and you can do what are the action you want and there are actually three ways as I said, uh, we have seen how to switch frame using an ID and if there is a name attribute you can copy paste the name and here it's actually only one frame so I can go with an index because the index starts with zero and we are having only one frame so this zero tells to the driver that there is only one frame and I want to switch the control to the particular frame. So let's execute and see whether it's working or not. It's taking too much of time. Let me beat this one. Okay, it worked. Okay, so this uh, frame acts as the index as well. So if you want to pass the web element, you can write the web element. You can click on the inspect, and this is present inside the. So when you're passing the web element, you have to pass the web element of the frame, not the web element of text box. So that's the makes sense so let me show you let's go back here and this is the so this is the frame so I need to write export or 
ID or something which define the locator of this iframe. So iframe and there are one is for closing tag and another one is for there are actually two iframe here. So I will go with an ID. Let me copy this one. Okay, so now the value is in it and I got the X part. So here we have to pass variable dot find element y dot x path and the x path of the particular frame. So now to some frame will get to know that this is actually a web element of uh, iframe. So I need to switch to that particular iframe and I have to do one of the actions. Once I'm done with an actions, I have to change my control back to parental page or original page. And what are the actions that I want to do on the outside of frame that it will do once we change or shift the control so this is how you can handle the frame thank you for watching this video if you like this video give thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye